We're going to illustrate the Fox and the Crow story today. The fox was very mean to the crow, and so we'll start with her and get her out of the way. I have divided my paper in half, the long, this way, so that I can draw the cr fox on this side and the crow over on the other side. We'll start with the fox first. Down at the bottom of the left side of your paper, we will draw a triangle. I won't go clear to the bottom, okay, because I need some ground space for the fox to sit on. I will draw another triangle sitting on top of the first triangle. Looks almost like a Christmas tree. Inside the bottom triangle here, I'm going to put four straight lines just in the middle at the bottom, not all the way to the top. Those are going to be the fox's legs. And underneath them, I'm going to put a half a circle for the paw pad. And on the other side, I'm going to put another half a circle. Of course, the fox is going to have to have some toes. So I'll just put like three little marks inside of each paw pad so it looks like he has some toes. She has some toes. Fox have ears, of course, and so on each side of his head, I'll put two little lines like that. And then around those lines, I will put a pointy ear. There. Whoa. He's listening. Now, Fox our ha hair is really bushy. It's not laid back like a cat's hair. So we have to make it look like she has messy hair. Her hair just fluffing out all over the place. So on top of her head right here, I'm going to put an M. Okay? And then on each side of the little uh, triangle, I'm going to put a W. And it looks like her fur is sticking out. And you know what? I think I'll stick some down here, too, on the side of her. So it looks like her hair is kind of messed up on the side of her body. Now, this top of the big triangle is kind of in our way. So if you want to erase it, that might be a good idea. I'm going to erase mine because I want the fox's face to be inside. Okay. This is kind of strange, but... They have big noses, and so I'm going to give my fox a hot dog nose. I'm going to put it right in the middle of that face, and I'm going to make it look like almost a whole hot dog. And, of course, she's going to want to have the black tip at the end of her nose. I'm going to just take out that little triangle there. There, now it's not coming through her nose. My fox is thinking about that cookie and how good it's going to taste. So she's going to have a smile, maybe a little sideways smile, mm, like she's making a little trick. There. Mm, yeah. And of course, she's going to have to have some eyes. So I'm going to put two big circles here for eyes, but that black dot that goes in the middle, I want to be very careful where I put it. Since I'm going to put my crow up here and I want my fox to be looking at her, I'm going to put the black dots over to the side. Ah, oh, there she is. Look at it. It looks like she's looking up at something. And you know what? The fox is almost done except she's missing the prettiest part of her, she thinks anyway, and that's her tail. So we're going to start down here, and we're just going to put a nice little curve up. And you can make that curve go anywhere that you want. The only thing is, you have to make another curve just like it and follow it down. Make it nice and bushy. 
Ooh, she would love that tail. And if you remember, when you look at a fox, the tip of their tail is white. And so we have to kind of break the tail up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a W in the tail, and then it looks like she's got a white tip on her tail. I think we have a nice looking fox, and she's ready to look at a crow who has a cookie in her mouth. We'll start out here with two circles up in the top now because we want her to be sitting up in the tree. Okay, we'll start with a circle and then just a little bit below it and off to the right we'll put an oval shape for its body. And at the tip of that we will put a triangle and give her a tail. Okay, let's put some feathers in that tail, just some lines in there, and it'll make it look like she's got some tail feathers. Okay. Uh, let's give this bird, this crow, some legs. I'm going to be a little bit silly with her legs, and I'm going to make them look like that. And I'm going to make the other one go the opposite way. And then I'm going to give her three claws at the end. Oh, hmm. She's looking kind of silly, isn't she? She needs a wing. So I will put a wing in here. Give it a little, put some feathers. I'll even let the wing go into the tail a little bit. There. Now, I've got to connect the head to the body. And crows really do not have the pretty plumage that the fox said she did. They're kind of messy. They're kind of straggly looking. So I'm just going to, like I did over here on the fox with the jagged W's, I'm going to connect her head with jagged lines. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Make her look a little... And she might be a little bit mad because the fox is talking to her. I think I'll even give her some up here on the top of her head. Yeah. Okay, now, I'm going to put the beak this way. Okay, I'm going to make a V with two lines. And then I'm going to, just like I did here on the ears of the fox, I am going to put an arc. I'm going to give her even a little beak right there. And I'm going to do it on the bottom. And see, now her beak is open because she's holding on to a cookie. Uh, let's give her an eye. Birds have little eyes. So I'm just going to give her a circle with just one little dot in there. All right, I think she's ready for her cookie. Now, this is the best part. You can make this any kind of a cookie you want. I'm going to make mine a chocolate chip cookie. So I'm going to put a circle right here in her mouth with a bunch of chocolate chips all over it. There we go. There's my fox looking at that cookie. Ooh, really wanting it. And he's going to flatter that crow to get it. Now that we've got the two main characters illustrated in the story, it's up to you to fill in the background. Put the bird in a, on a tree branch. Maybe put some bushes by the fox. Whatever you want, this is your illustration. Ooh, and don't forget to hide that diamond in there. See you next time!